Hello, welcome back. In this segment, I will define how to divide two polynomials in Galois field two. Okay, let's take an example. Suppose A of X is a polynomial X power three, X power two plus one. B of X is another polynomial X power two plus one. The question is what is A by B? In the context of Galois field, we will define division. Okay, so if you look at it, um, it's not so much different from the regular division. All we are doing, all we have to do is look at the degree of uh, A, which is three, three is the highest number. Look at the degree of B, which is two. That means you need to put an X here, right? That's the difference in the, in the degree. The de difference degree is one. So you're going to multiply um, the, this, this whole B by X. That means you'll have X cubed plus X, right? And then you will subtract, uh, you will get Subtraction the same as addition in GF, GF of two. So this X cube, X cube will cancel out. So you'll be left with X square plus X plus one, okay? And now you have to repeat the same process. You look at the degree of uh, X power two, which is two, and look at the degree of your B, which is also two. The difference in degree is zero. That means um, what you do? In that case, you actually don't do anything. You just put a one here and, um, Multiplying it by one doesn't make any difference. So you will be just writing the whole B as it is here and add it with your current uh, updated A. This is your updated A. And now the X square, X square will cancel out. One and one will cancel out. So you'll have just X in GF of two, that's all. So the question now is how do we automate this? Of course, we need to represent A as an integer, B as an integer. We know how to do that. Uh, we have been talking about that for quite some time. All you have to do is, monitor this the, the way I defined it manually. Um, I just took this as the uh, A, right? This is my A and um, this is my B, of course, this is my B. B doesn't change, okay? But I changed the A. Um, okay, why do I say that? First step I do have to find out is what is the difference in the degree between A and B? In the current A and the current B, the degree is one. That means you multiply this by X. Remember, multiplying this by x is same as doing a left shift of b by one position. This, this means you're multiplying it by x. So now it, essentially you have x cubed plus x, and that's exactly what you have. And that you add it with your current a, okay? So you're adding it, so you get a new a now. So this is your new a. So formalize, we can formalize it like this. The new a is nothing but, how do you do find the new a, old a, XR, you remember G of two addition is XR. XR is what? You just take B and XR B with how many positions you have to shift B. You take the degree of A. Okay, let me call it deg means degree of A. Degree means the highest number of the, the, of the power of X. Subtract by degree of B, okay? Let me explain one more time more precisely what is this. You have your A and you have your B. B doesn't change, we keep changing the A. Originally, A points to the original uh, initial A given by the input. Uh, you compute the difference in the degree between the two polynomials. In this case, the difference is one. Okay, that means you multiply uh, B uh, by X, okay? Which means when you multiply B by X, same as saying, multiply B by X, same as saying, left shift B by one position. That's the, that one position is computed by this. So you get a new A, which is old A plus the, this is plus, okay? This is plus in GF2, okay? This is the plus in GF2, this plus. Plus and minus are same in GF of two. Okay, so um, the, the, the things that are same will cancel out. So X cube, X cube will automatically cancel out. And um, well, this, this part X cube plus X is coming from here, by the way. This part is X cube plus X is coming from Original B left shift by one position will give you X cube plus X. And um, once you add with your original A, you get a new A, which is X square plus X plus one. Okay, now you repeat the same process again. Now you take um, your new A with degree as two, uh, old B, well, B is still the same, um, degree is two. And uh, the difference in degree is zero. That means you're shifting it by zero position, which means B remains the same. So essentially, this whole thing is zero. In the next iteration, it is same as A equal to old A with B, okay? So this is the A and this is the B. 
and you XR, that means you add, X square, X square will cancel out, one and one will cancel out, you left with the X. But now you look at degree of A. Degree of A is one, right? But degree of B is two, that means you can stop. So you can continue this uh, uh, process until the, the new A's degree is um, greater than or equal to degree of B, okay? As soon as the new A's degree is less than the degree of B, you're done, okay? That's how you define the division uh, of a polynomial in, in GF of two, okay? So now I'll quickly show you the algorithm. We have done the uh, mathematics informally. I will show you the formal algorithm. A degree of A is a small routine you can imagine, which will take your integer and find out what is the most significant bit position that was turned on, that, that will give you a degree. So here is the simple routine that I wrote to compute the reminder of dividing a polynomial A by polynomial B. Of course, we have to make sure B is not equal to zero, otherwise it makes no sense to division by zero. And I also said earlier, um, my polynomials are uh, integer coefficients zero and one, therefore I assume the number A is itself greater than or equal to zero. Okay, I don't want user to send me a negative number. So initially my result is A, okay. That's what I did. Um, A is the original input and I keep uh, I compute the result of uh, the degree of the result and, and compare against the degree of B. If the current result degree is more than or equal to degree of B, I have to continue my loop. And I need to figure out uh, what is the difference in the degree. And then I shift my B by that many position. And then I take my old result and XR it with by um, B shifted by position numbers. Okay, the same, exactly the same as what we did on the whiteboard. Um, just a little bit of Python syntax, but other than that, it's the same code. The key is that you, your B is fixed, of course, B doesn't change. Your um, result is, which is what I mentioned, the new A is the one that is updated based on the old result, XOR it with uh, how many positions B changed, okay? Uh, depending on the difference in the degree, um, you are using the left shift operator to simulate, well, now multiply by X, multiply X square and so on. Now we can do a quick demo of the if the input is zero, we treat the degree to be minus one. Otherwise we compute the bit length. Bit length is a little routine that I wrote that will compute uh, how many bits are needed to represent A and subtract it by one because we uh, we start with X power zero, X power one. Let's assume the A has, the value of A is say two, okay? What is two? Two means one zero, right? A equal to two, which means in binary one zero. So the bit length in this case is two but the polynomial degree is one because this is nothing but X. Okay, so we subtract uh, one from it. Okay, that's the reason I do this. Okay, and now we can quickly do the demo of this code. Okay, so I'm going to create polynomial A and the polynomial B. Remember A is X cubed plus X squared plus one. That means I need to set bit third position, second position and zeroth position. That means X cubed plus X squared plus one. That's, this is A and B. Similarly is second position and the zeroth position because it's just X squared plus one. And now we are, our goal is to compute the reminder, okay? In the Lua field, G of two uh, rem of A comma B. Okay, this is nice, you get two. Two is nothing but one zero in binary, which is how we represent the X. Okay, so we confirm now that our algorithm is working at least for the example that I've shown you. Uh, but in general, this is just a simulation of what you would do manually. The only thing is we cleverly use the, the bitwise operator to simulate uh, whatever we do manually. That's basically it. Um, so we can look at it here one more time. Your input is A and B. You compute the difference between the degree of A and B, right? And then you decide based on the difference, how many and positions B has to be shifted. In this case, at the beginning, B has to be shifted only once because the degree difference is one. That means essentially you're multiplying B by X. That means it becomes X cubed plus X. This is exactly what you would do manually, X cubed plus X. And then you take your uh, current A and add it with this uh, expression that you got, that this is the part that I was trying to explain. This part will always give us the current thing that you will add, okay, X cubed plus X and you add it, you get this one. Now you have this new A, you do the same thing. You compare against the, the, uh, the B. The difference is zero. That means you don't change at all. They are both same degree. So you write essentially the B as it is. And then, uh, which is same as saying, you will put one in your regular quotient because uh, X square, X square, the difference is zero. And the difference zero means X power zero, you will write, which is same, same as one. 
So x square, and then you do the addition and x square x can cancel it. One, one cancel it, you're left with x. And the x degree is one, therefore you can stop the procedure. Okay, that's how you compute the division um, reminder, actually. This is how I shown you to compute reminder. That's all, thank you very much for your attention.